do you feel like because you have that kind of presence and personality when you came, when you went to Japan and you went to team Denzo, uh, was that something that made the rest of the team kind of step back or do you feel like it was a pretty easy adjustment for everybody? All right. Totally. There's, there's been good and bad. So, okay. so my little best friend on the team is second baseman. She's the second baseman for the national team in Japan. And she always calls me crazy, happy girl. Mm-hmm. And, and she asks me every day if today I'm going to be crazy, happy girl. And like most days I'm crazy, happy girl. But then, you know, I'll have once a month where like, you know, you just wake up on the wrong side of the bed. Like, geez, I'm in Japan. I would just love like a burrito, but that's not possible. Like there's just some days it all hits you. And like, I don't have to say a word when I show up to practice and I'm just like not having it today. And she'll come up to me and ask me if I could please be a crazy happy girl for her and like not be ang- they do angry like today angry why <laughs> I'm like no I'm just sleepy you know what I mean yeah. um, mm-hmm. so or they love like the expressionistic like on the field being fired up and stuff like that but it also there was one part last or one time last season I still remember it we had gone like three or four games in a row, we were just in a rut, like couldn't even get on base. And they don't respond the same as Americans do is like getting fired up. So like in the huddle, I just like really wanted to like fire them up. And I have never done that before. And Chi Chi, my translator, I was like, Chi Chi, look, come here. And like, she like tried to say what I just said. And they were all just looking at me like, and I think like one of them wanted to cry. And I was like, wow, like that just really didn't translate. How uh, mm. I imagined in my head, and Kelly yeah. Crutchman is my was my American spirit last year. She was just dying laughing. Like, <laughs> yeah, that, they they don't know what to do with all that. <laughs> oh wow, <clears throat> so, that's been interesting. It's been good for the most part. Yeah. Um, do you feel like that happened? It's like emotions get lost in translation. Is- oh, absolutely. They also like not like they don't have emotions, but their culture is just different. Like they could be dead tired and still show up to practice every day, the same, just plugging along. Um, They never really get too high or too low. Mm -hmm. So they think that I'm like crazy. And I'm just like, man, like I used to be, I've really worked on it. Like you should have seen me like (laughs) 10 years ago. (laughs) So it's it's really fun for me at least. So, and I need that consistency. How are you? Me, so. How are you? Ten years ago. Oh, it's it's always been a. I don't know, just like super high and super low, emotional type player in all sports. Like I said, really good and really bad. Um, so just especially being a pitcher, that's like kind of a terrible thing to me. So just always kind of focused on trying to find a happy medium, um, and not get too low, not get too high. That's been my personal struggle, at least. Once I figure it out, I will write a book on it and let you know. <laughs> but All right, still, I'll be waiting. Still an ongoing process. 